Let me know what your favorite Disney game is down in the comments below, but first watch the video, okay? Let, let me know after the video. This video is from the Retro Liberty Archives with new edits and live shots. Oh boy! We should do a top five Disney list on the NES. Ooh, that sounds awesome. But shouldn't it be like Capcom and Disney? Since only the good ones are Capcom? I said Disney! Number five. The Little Mermaid. If you have never played The Little Mermaid on the NES, you may be thinking the way I did before I first played this. Water levels and video games suck. And a good majority of the time they do. In this game, you don't feel bogged down like you do in many water levels in most games. I am so glad the game didn't restrict us gamers into one silly attack here. You can use your basic fin slap, or you can cast your Underwater Sonic Wave of Doom onto enemies and capture them in a bubble and turn them into Bubble Bobble and chuck them at your foes. You can also pick up seashells and other objects and use them as projectiles as well. The music is pretty impressive, but each song isn't too different from the last. The intro theme though was done very well in my opinion. Lastly, the game does feature some power-ups, which also keeps the game interesting throughout. Now, if you enjoyed Echo the Dolphin... Wait, d does anybody actually like Echo the Dolphin? Number 4 Adventures in the Magic Kingdom In 1990, the Nintendo Entertainment System released a game where you pretty much are set loose in, well... Disneyland! <laughs> Disneyland! <laughs> You basically are some nameless kid who wanders around Disneyland, and you must collect all the keys in order to save the hidden parade people and set them free so they can go on with the show. The thing that makes this game so great is that you get to play a ton of mini games, but since this game was developed by Capcom in the 8-bit days, you know they put real effort into each mini game. I freaking love Capcom 8-bit! Each mini game is different from the last. My personal favorite is the Haunted Mansion level, where the game is now a side-scrolling platformer that reminds me a lot of Ghosts and Goblins. The music and sounds are really fun here. Now, I know that sounds like a lame word to use, but fun really is the best way to describe it. Playing adventures in the Magic Kingdom really does make you feel like a child, wandering around Disneyland, embarking on your own little adventure with every different world or little ride you go on. Number 3 Darkwing Duck Are you ready to get dangerous? Darkwing Duck is a side-scrolling action-adventure game that does many things extremely well. From all the different choices in weapons, the music, the controls, and a smorgasbord more. But the one thing I adore most is the hanging. You are able to hang onto a wide variety of objects and moving platforms to make your way across the level or to climb up or traverse down. Going back to the weapons, I love that you have different choices that you can gain. The arrow gas alone is outstanding. It can be used as a platforming device to stick onto a wall and jump up to get to your desired destination. The game is pretty darn difficult in my opinion, but I don't think it's anything you're gonna rage quit over. I actually use most of the tracks from this game in my other videos. Darkwing Duck is a must-play Disney game on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Number 2 Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers This here is one of the best co-op games of all time. And right here, in this game, this is where I spent countless hours with my brothers when I was a kid. I can't tell you how much time I spent laughing with a huge <laughs> smile on my face while playing this game with them. <laughs> This is so good. I don't even have any friends. And the game is fantastic on single player, don't get me wrong, but it's a hundred times better on co-op. And to be honest, one of the main reasons for that is that you can pick up your partner and throw them into enemies, or you can even throw them off a cliff. You can also throw objects at your partner just to stun them for fun. I also enjoy that you can choose which location you wanted to go to next via a map of various locations. You didn't have a wide variety of levels to choose from, but being able to skip the levels you didn't like was freaking awesome. If you are a fan of the animated series, you will definitely love some of the cameos some of the characters make. The bosses are all super easy, but it doesn't bother me. I actually feel like it keeps the game flowing here. And now it's time for our last choice. Well, my last choice, I guess. He's not here. 
I just need Ricky. Ricky! Number one. DuckTales. Like most of these games here on this list, this was also previously a cartoon, and well, like the others, it's brilliant as well. Why number one, Aaron? Why? Well, any Nintendo fan can relate to this. The game had super fluid gameplay, stellar graphics, and well, do I really need to mention the music? I know we all talk a little too much about the moon theme, but it's kind of like hearing a classic Beatles song. We sometimes feel like the songs can get overplayed and over talked about, but if you sit back in a quiet room and tune out from the world and listen, you can relive the wonder and feel the warmth you did when you first heard this as a child. Hey Aaron, what's going on? What are you playing? What are you doing? Are you, are you Shut playing? up! Scrooge McDuck is the original gangster. How many people do you know that walk around defeating all your enemies with no pants on, a top hat, and carrying a cane? And his whole motive in the game is to become even wealthier than he already is. Fucking pimp daddy! This is also another game where you can choose your levels, which, well, almost all of the Capcom slash Disney games did, and I thank them for that. I feel I don't need to say any more because you need to play this for yourself if you haven't, and if you have, then you already know why it's number one. That was my top five Disney games on the NES, basically Capcom and Disney. Let me know what your favorite Disney games on the NES are as well down in the comments below. Also to subscribe and like the video if you want. It's up to you, it's a free world. Have a good one, bye. I tried to launch my glasses off my face. Shit.